After months of legal maneuvering, the Vanderbilt rape trial is on track to begin Monday with jury selection. This comes after some last-minute wrangling this morning in the courtroom. Defense attorneys asked, among other things, for the jury to be sequestered. Judge Monty Watkins denied that request, saying it's too late to make such a request. Yesterday, defense attorneys decided not to appeal Judge Watkins' decision to stay on the case. That appeal would have caused another delay. When the jury is selected and the trial does begin, we'll provide live gavel to gavel coverage on News Channel 5 Plus and at NewsChannel5.com. The suspect in the ambush murder of a Pennsylvania state trooper was greeted with booze outside court today. Wendy Gillette has the latest from the courthouse in Milford, Pennsylvania. The former fugitive could no longer hide his face. Spectators jeered as Eric Freen was hauled into court. He had a swollen nose and cuts on his face. Authorities say Freen already had the injuries when he dropped to his knees and surrendered Thursday evening without a fight. Are you sorry? Following his arraignment, authorities paraded Freen in front of the cameras again. Why'd you do it? Freen did not respond to questions shouted at him. There's a sense of relief that uh, this has ended. Uh, a relief that uh, that there won't be anyone else injured in the course of this manhunt. And that was always a big concern. U.S. Marshals captured the 31-year-old survivalist and marksman near an abandoned airplane hangar about 30 miles from the state troopers' barracks where he allegedly shot two troopers. Police confirmed they found weapons in the hangar that are being processed as evidence. Authorities took Freen into custody using the handcuffs and patrol car of the trooper killed in the attack. I've characterized his actions in the past as pure evil, and I would stand by that. In his brief court appearance, Freen answered yes and no questions, but did not enter a plea. The county prosecutor says he'll push for the death penalty. What was it like to see him today? Satisfying, actually, yeah. I'm glad they got him. Investigators are not saying what Freen has said to them so far. They say he was captured during a routine sweep, ending a seven-week, $10 million manhunt. Wendy Gillette for CBS News, Milford, Pennsylvania. Fewer Tennesseans turned out for early voting this year. A new study ranks Tennessee as one of the worst states for voter turnout. Early voting ended last night, and only half a million people cast their vote over the last two weeks. That's down nearly 20 percent from four years ago. Tennessee ranks sixth in the country for voter apathy. So after voting next Tuesday, make sure to tune in for our live election night coverage. It begins at 7 o'clock on News Channel 5 Plus and runs until 9 as the results come in.